Your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips, about 5:45 in the morning on Tuesday, August 29th, 2023, and I'm on my way to Oceanside, 37 miles to get there, Oceanside Harbor. I'm gonna get there at 6:23, and gonna go launch the solo skiff out, chase some bluefin tuna on the solo skiff. Foggy morning this morning, but hopefully it burns off. Ready to go, let's get it. We go coming into Oceanside. Oh, there's Hell Green Sport fishing. Woo -wee, it's looking nice. Looking real nice. Flat, glassy condition, small surf. High tide this morning, I think around 9 a.m., 9.30. Turn right on Pacific Street. Here we go, showtime at the launch. 6.30 in the morning right now, here at Oceanside Harbor. Let's get it, bluefin time. Park my truck over there, the spot, and I'm gonna pay for parking. 15 bucks. Normally, I don't want to pay in San Diego, but that's how we're doing it here in Oceanside. Pay for the parking. It's a beautiful morning. Got a couple other boats setting up here. Funville looked like they were honking at me. Watch my videos. So let's get dressed. Let's get launched out. Man, it's a beautiful day today. So I gotta get as much as I can. There you go. I woke my kids up at five, told them, hey, let's get that boat ready. Let's try to go get some. That's right. I heard well, I, my buddy uh, sent me a message yesterday. He's flying a plane over and he's sending me miles of foamers. Yeah, it was pretty good, I guess, yesterday. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard They're feeding on a bunch in the red tide, too, huh? Right on the line. So, was anybody able to hook them uh, or did they just see them? They're catching them. Yeah, on a couple what? hundred pounders and some 20 to 30 pounders. What were they getting them on? Do you know? Stick baits. On stick bait? Yeah. Full size one or a smaller size? I think probably full size. Okay. Yeah. All, all that yeah, stuff. I know. That's why I got a little of everything ready to go. So, yeah, the stick bait. Oh, man. I'm excited. Sun's out. <laughs> Weather's nice. Yeah. Get them. Is that where you're going? You're going down towards the canyon? So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Try to get as much, uh, as much uh, in as we can with this weather. My name's Emir, man. Emir? Yeah. Great to meet you, bro. Good luck out there. Good luck, man. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Stick baits. Good time at the launch. I've launched out of Oceanside Harbor and fished with a friend out of here before, but this is the first time taking the solo skiff out of Oceanside Harbor. Beautiful little spot right here. Hopefully it won't be that far to make it down. 
to the zone. Carlsbad Canyon is where I'm looking at. There's foamers there yesterday. Amir was just telling me that people were getting them on stick bait. So I got my stick bait ready to go. My popper, there's some bigger fish too. Let's see what we can make happen. Beautiful morning. Got the bait barge. Morning, how you doing? Good, how are you? You guys got sardines right now? Yeah. Mixed beans, smaller ones, medium ones. Right on. Amir's picking up bait, yeah. Have a good one. I'm not gonna get any bait. I'm going all stick bait. They're all lures. Trolling and stick baits. I gotta switch it out. I'll put the stick bait instead of the popper. That's what I'll run through right now my setup. And if you haven't heard already, or if you don't know, I'm selling solo skiffs. So we got the new ice blue color that comes with just the bare hull. So after you get the, get the hull from me, then you got, pick up a motor, you get it used or new. I like the Mercury six horsepower. This fits a maximum six horsepower motor on it. it goes about 12 to 15 miles an hour. Then I have the external. There's a, a tank inside the motor itself that you can put gas in. It's about a third of a gallon. And then I have the external tank with the hose connection here and the pump to help pump it in. That's a three gallon, three and a half gallon tank here. And it gets about 25 miles a gallon. So I got a, a 70 plus mile range, 75 mile range on the solo skiff. Then I got back there is my transducer mount for my Garmin fish finder. And I got this seven inch touch screen Garmin fish finder that Rolly at West Green hooked it up with. So fish finder is another part of the rigging. I use that to read the water temperature, the fish down below, all the contour and ridge lines and everything like that too. Then I got my Hobie H rails here on the side. I got long ones, I got four of them. I got two on this side, two on this side. Then I got those onto a uh, Scotty mount. I have those onto this Hobie, Hobie uh, rail plate. And then you, I drilled the Scotty mount with the rod holders. That's how I'm doing these two rod holders on this side. Then I have a Hobie rod holder here. This comes all as one piece. You don't have to put anything together. Those are ready to go. This I had to put it together by screwing into the plate. On this side, I got one of those same ones with the Scotty plate. Then I have this other style Scotty that just plugs in straight. It's not on a plate like that. And then this is a uh, Yak Attack, I think, mount right here. That's just what I have my GoPro on. And I have another Kobe mount here that I use for trolling. I got my kill bag, reliable kill bag. There's the live well up front here. I'm not gonna use that today inside. And then I keep, I got a small Hobie rail right here. And then I keep on the inside, I got my tackle, my kill bag, my sword knife, all that good stuff. And here's the, some of the stick baits are in here. I got two Nomad stick baits right there. So thank you all for watching, following along. I'm living the dream. It's coming into peak fishing season, season time right now. Golden uh, month, September into October here in California. So doing it now in Oceanside. We'll be traveling up to NorCal, hit up Central California, JR, through Morro Bay, San Simeon, and then up into uh, Santa Cruz, Monterey. Don't know if I'm gonna fish up there. Thank you all for watching, following along. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe, pound that like, show love and support. Amazon storefront, uh, channel memberships. I'm working on a website. Just a lot, lots going on, but it's all good. I'm so blessed and so grateful to have all these opportunities and to get to meet all you wonderful people here because that's why I'm out here today. I got a message on Instagram yesterday. My buddy Matt was flying over Carlsbad and he told me about foamers. So that's why I came out here today. 
So thank you for all you wonderful people. Um, I'm working on my communication and networking skills through online. Even though I truly like it here in person, that's my favorite. He's out here doing it in the real world, real life. Next stop, Bluefin Foamers. We're gonna go out and then down south to Carlsbad Canyon, about five to seven miles. 6.56, not even 7 a.m. right now. So I should be down there in about a half hour or so, 45 minutes before eight o'clock. Got the high tide at 9.30. We're looking good. We're gonna hit them. I'll go over my rigs here in a little bit. Fishing Ocean side on the solo skip now. Fall 2023. We're living the dream. Woo! Look at this. Man, really, really red tide, red water. Dirty. They said they were biting in it. I'm gonna make my way down out west. Yeah, there's Carlsbad Canyon. So I'm gonna make my way out in that direction. West and south, we'll see if we can spot any foamers. Amir said stick bait, so I got my Nomad stick bait riptide right here. I'm gonna put this on. Said candy bar A clip. Fast sinking, it's on 40 pound test. Should be able to just cast it out and start ripping it immediately. Those are fast sink. I have these pencil poppers too, this pencil popper. And then a regular popper. There's the pencil, it's pretty light. I might put my popper on. Or I got a surface iron. You know what? We're gonna go. I'm gonna go candy bar surface iron. Mint, full size. Seven turns on a San Diego jam knot. And then I have 60 pound mono. Top shot on top of 80 pound braid. There's some bigger fish in the mix too. That's on the Abbott LX Raptor two speed Shimano Terez rod. This is the setup that I got that La Jolla Bluefin tuna on the surface iron back in 2021 with Shane. I'll flash the card for that. Okay, surface iron and stick bait ready to go. Bluefin here in Oceanside. I'm already seeing pockets of anchovies and bait. Where's the foamers? Got the birds cruising through. A little bit of fog. So might as well go ahead and start trolling. I got the Mad Max, no Mad Mad Max 200. This is the hot trolling lure for bluefin tuna here in San Diego. Orange mackerel. I switched out the treble hook, or switched out the single hook, the BP, BKK single hook to the treble hook on the back. And I have 100 pound mono top shot leader. 100 yards of that and then it's backed by a 130 pound uh, braided line mark braided line and then i have that on the go mexus ra 600 um, reel two speed reel here and then i got that on the shimano talius rod this is a medium heavy six foot six 50 to 100 pound or yeah medium heavy action fast action that's the rod that I paired it with, and that's gonna be for trolling here. I got my safety leash. There we go. That's the braided line. right here. We'll 
We'll troll through them. Couple little small patties right here. Not really far enough out, but I'm gonna still cast on it. Shane got a dodo, nice one on the stick bait like this. Come here, 50 miles, this is really. 209, somebody's out there. They're talking about the fog too. Foggy, foggy, foggy. 8.46 in the morning now and the fog is burning off nicely. I'm still trolling the Mad Max. Haven't seen any foamers yet. Birds, bait. Let's go, we're working our way north now. Away from Carl Cut Canyon. Maybe like three to five miles offshore. Pocket of birds over here. We got this boat. They're they're fishing. Looks like they're trolling. My eye out, they're about to pop up. You can feel it. Great movement on those stick baits. I just need to have an opportunity where some fish around. Nine o'clock. Keep trolling hard. 
waiting for those fish to pop up and then we're gonna hit them with the, stick, the jigs. Stick bait surface iron, let's go. Look at this, another patty. Uh, patties all over, but no foamers. Take a cast on it. Got dolphins over here, and I got something going with the birds over here. Oh, it's a patty. Dolphins are moving. He's coming through. Looking very fishy out here. Over there. That boat's mashing. We're gonna mash too, let's go. Is this what I think it is? We got foamers. Let's go, baby. Here we go, showtime. I just saw him. Under these birds. Right there. Looks like that boat just cast it on one. There's a whole bunch of birds in the distance in front of that boat. I'm in the zone. Let's go, baby. Here we go, showtime right here. This guy's casting, we got birds. No, that's rough. The fog is back. Just when they wanted, I was in a good zone, they wanted to come up. Now I can't see nothing. I'm not trolling anymore. For right now, because I want to get to them quicker. I had a little kelp cut in the prop. So I was going a little slow. Wow, they're right here. Candy bar.
Dang, right there. We're tight. Wow. Hooked up on the stick bait, casting right into the foamers. They just popped up all of a sudden. this kelp walk them away from it coming through. Just a mean fish. Wow. It's on the top. Come on. like bull riding. Just spinning me around in circles. Won't stop. This is after an hour into it, hour and a half. Put the solo skip in gear, chase him down. He's still got a lot of left in him. We're still hooked up, 11-11 now.
Make a wish. Now I'm trying to chase him down. He's got another run in him. It's a big, big, strong fish. Nice fish. Hooked up, hour plus into the fight. Got him at the leader again. He's got to be getting tired too. Looks like we got more foamers now. Yep, they just popped up. Right over here. One of the craziest mornings. Foam right there. like bull riding there he is come here well I just pulled it I pulled out the jig from him lost it dang over an hour we're gonna go see if there's foam up here Devastating. Awesome. We got the clear choice. Clear choice poppers, clear choice lures. Guy right here. What's your name? Gary. Gary? Jerry. Oh, Jerry. I'm sorry, Jerry. Right. Nice to meet you. Gary. Oh, Gary and Jerry. <laughs> right on. Nice to meet you guys. Good job with the fish. Yeah. What time did you hook up? Uh, yeah, I hooked up at 9.30. I fought the thing for over an hour. Oh, yeah. I know. It was devil. That's how it goes, though. Just got to stick with it. So I already gave away my mint ones. So there's one. You have a mint me. now? I see that over there. That's badass. No way. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry is clear choice. This is the ghost popper right here. Oh, wait. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's a... Uh... Oh, that's a 140. Did you get a 140? I got a 130, 170, 150, this 160. New, this is a new uh, tuna proper 140. Just got oh, look at that. It doesn't have, it's got more of a, a circular, uh, rounded okay. face. Oh, yeah. so it's this. Dude, it's this. I sprinkled some around it. Is that what you got? No. Oh, what? Look. Wow. <laughs> Wait, is that all these that you gave me? Yeah, that that has it right there. Big one and a small one, and then. Hell yeah, Jerry! Wow, look at that. Hooked up. Now I gotta do. I'm gonna tie this on right now. Really? Put it to work. Thank you, Jerry. Appreciate it. Right. Clear choice lures right there. Jennifer. Jerry, do work. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Awesome, awesome people. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on right now.
Right, it's 11.30 now. I hooked up onto that big fish, lost them. Um, then I just saw another pocket of foamers pop up. Ran into Jerry from Clear Choice Poppers, hooking it up with the ghost poppers and these new, with the tail prop. These new ones, these things are badass. So he was showing me those. He's got a mint colored one too. Now I'm gonna try to go get back on this foam, see where it's at. Crazy day out here though. Still got a shot redemption, let's go. I seen him out there with Nom Freedom Boat Club when I got went wide open crazy yellowfin tuna fishing. Missed that foamer, wasn't fast enough. Where'd they go? There's a spotter plane. Wonder if my friend Matt is up in that plane. Big shout out and thanks to Matt for sending me shots from the, his plane ride yesterday. That's how I knew to come out here. He said solo skip time. And like usual, I'm prepared and ready to go. So I'm gonna loop back. I don't see anything up here. I'm looking for white birds, not, not black birds. Go back towards where I originally started from. There's Oceanside Harbor. That's where I hooked it. I'm gonna make my way back out there, loop around, and call it a day. See if we can get some more foam action. But right now I'm gonna troll hard that Nomad Mad Max. Man, that's It's 1.30 now. I'm almost back where I hooked up on that spot. That's where I hooked up. Now I'm gonna head back. I'm always tempted to go out further. Track down these birds, search these birds. But I'm going out fishing with all tomorrow. I missed my shot today. Devastating to lose that fish, but that's fishing. That's how it goes. Just gotta make get better. Get better and catch that next one. Alright, anchovies galore back there, but I didn't see any fish jumping. And I wanna make my way in. It's already it's a two o'clock now. Get back by three. Home by four, rinse off my gear five, make my movie. So thank you all for watching and following along on today's epic adventures. I'm bummed out, I couldn't land that fish. That's how it goes, just gotta hook up with another one. That was a big fish, over 100 pounds for sure. May we get lucky on the ride in, 
scrolling the Mad Max or seeing some more foam. But if you haven't already, smash that subscribe, pound that like. Searching hard out here on the solo skip for bluefin tuna, San Diego, Oceanside. Living the dream. Right in there. Come on. Bendel. There he hooked one on the jig. I don't know what kind of jig he was throwing, but we got more foamers up here. So much fish out here, foamers here, and foamers over there. These are closer. These are body jumpers. There's some, we're getting really high. I think that's all yellowfin. Afternoon here in the harbor. Get the solo skip out of the water. <laughs> 